l'Union européenne a promis aux Balkans depuis 15 ans. 2000, Zagreb, 2003, Thessaloniki, de devenir un jour membre de l'Union européenne. Et je pense qu'une promesse politique au plus haut niveau, elle a une valeur. We think that this Berlin process, as we tend to call it, uh, started two years ago in Berlin by, by Chancellor Merkel, is conducive to bring these societies and these countries closer to the Union. Le sommet de Paris, en travaillant sur des, des questions concrètes, les transports, l'énergie, la jeunesse, euh, l'évolution de la législation pour euh, favoriser l'intégration régionale, va contribuer évidemment au rapprochement de ces pays avec l'Union européenne. Ce n'est pas le, le sommet de Paris qui va être le lieu pour décider sur le processus d'adhésion, mais il s'inscrit dans cette perspective historique. Ce qui serait à craindre, c'est que donc euh, la question politique, c'est euh, comment l'Europe peut intégrer les Balkans, ben, qu'elle soit reléguée au deuxième, troisième plan. Et donc là, c'est important que le processus justement existe. For the time being, I think uh, being outside the European Union is fine. It, it can be a motivating force, and it actually makes it easier for these countries to engage in very deep reforms that will lead to uh, integration, regional integration amongst themselves, but also linkages to European markets and, frankly, uh, linkages to bigger global markets as, as well. On ne peut pas se limiter à cette euh, piste relativement rigide des négociations juridiques sur l'adhésion. C'est important, c'est indispensable, nous le savons. Mais il faut élargir pour mieux se connaître, pour mieux profiter les uns des expériences des autres, de l'énergie des autres. We find we wanted to give and use this process of the conference as an impulse for a new European debate on enlargement and European integration. Um, it's, it's quite rare that all the Western Balkans experts gather and, and talk uh, openly um, about these issues, exchange views. It was important to réunir a lot of experts, to put them around the table where the parole would be absolutely free on les rêves européens de ces pays, sur les éventuelles réticences de l'Union européenne, sur les progrès dans l'intégration régionale de ces pays, sur les perspectives réelles de l'Union européenne qui apparaît à l'heure actuelle à la fois une perspective réelle et une perspective fantasmée. The region, more than ever, needs the prospect of integration, enlargement, changing the parameters of the society. At the same time, the European Union showing a kind of a fatigue when it comes to the enlargement. It's not a fatigue of enlargement. It's a fatigue of Europe, malheureusement. It va beaucoup plus loin que l'enlargement. You know, we can see that this is not just a problem in the Western Balkans. We see that this is a problem throughout the European Union. You know, for example, I come from Britain. We are going to be having a referendum um, on, on membership of the European Union. And it's very clear, you know, people don't understand it. They haven't really engaged with the issues. Uh, these days, weeks and months as we talk, I think we're facing really crucial moments for all of Europe, as we have seen now in the elections in Austria, which have been very tight, with also uh, well, basically questioning some of the core fundamentals of modern democracies. I think we need to put in the European Union new ideas and new process. At the moment we are sort of stuck in the middle of crisis. It is a social crisis, it is a democratic crisis, it is an economic crisis. In this respect, talking about enlargement at this point, it might be risky, but it's also, it might be a way to push forward the EU. I came uh, basically because this kind of conferences where uh, think tanks are being present. You hear new ideas, you hear fresh approaches on how to deal with the region which is uh, in terms of security and stability of the European continent uh, very, very important. 
time has come for us from the Western Balkans to articulate our messages towards the European Union and not the other way around. Uh, Paris meeting will be quite significant because it's halfway through towards the Berlin process that will end in 2018. And this is the time to be very concrete. There are different scenarios what it could be. It could be a completely radical new sort of approach that contains novel and creative uh, toolbox. It could be uh, that we continue the way we have been doing it so far, so basically meeting the conditionalities and approaching to the European Union the standard way it, it, it's happening. Or the third scenario, which is not really preferable, is to stay the way we are in, in a very stagnant form. I believe we need a new reset in the enlargement, as the Western Balkans are simply a crucial part of Europe. Uh, and I believe, and, and some, some experts here in the forum have been arguing uh, uh, this morning, basically, that there is a need for the European Union to look for radical answers, even to go a step beyond the normalcy right now and to include the countries uh, into the European Union then try to solve the problem to create a new European togetherness uh, otherwise the countries are going to continue backsliding towards authoritarian alternatives. Everybody in this room agrees that as soon the sooner the better the countries of the Western Balkans become part of the European uh, or European family European Union. Is it a powerful way to bring the medium and to bring to some of the conclusions and our ideas to the policy making level. Then, I mean, we are all skeptic about how much they receive of these ideas. But having them in a succinct way and in an organized way certainly doesn't harm and I'm sure that will bring something. Then let's see.